no, ho, you can't touch this, ayy Bitch, I do rich shit, huh, my money thick, thick, ayy Walk with a limp, limp, huh, I'm on some pimp shit, ayy He say you all about money, yeah, I'm on that cash shit, huh I'm in my bag, bitch, huh, I'm on your ass, bitch, huh I'm in that new, new shit, you on that last year, huh Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for clicking on this video, so let's get right into it. So right now I'm about to just braid her hair in some regular cornrows straight to the back, and then I'm about to just do that all the way until I get to the other side. So now I'm about to just take some got to be free spray and spray that all around her perimeter and make sure that you blow dry that till it's nice and dry to get any flyaways that's around her edges or her hairline to make sure that it won't seek through the lace. And then we, I'm going to take my tan stocking cap and I'm going to spray that um, got to be free spray on top of the cap to make sure that everything is laid down and I like to cut holes in my ears to make sure that everything lays down perfectly fine and seamless. So now I'm about to take my scissors and cut around the cap and I like to get as close to her hairline as possible. And another trick that I like to do is try to sculpt out her hairline as I'm cutting. So I will pull back the cap to where her hairline is at and I will cut around and you want to make sure that this line isn't just straight across or it will look unnatural. So in this video, I'm going to be using Bold Hold Extreme Cream, and I like to use three thin layers of this glue, about an inch on the cap and the skin, and you will see what I mean when you keep watching the video. And I like to start off by putting this, applying it to the ridges of the cap to make sure that everything is all seamless so you won't see that harsh line. And then when the glue turns clear, that's when you know when to apply the lace and you will be all set. And just make sure that you do not press the lace with your fingers when you are applying the lace, use a, a fine tooth comb. Another important step that you want to do is make sure that you take a cotton ball or a Q-tip and with some alcohol and make sure that you wipe the client's skin down. And just to make sure that you get rid of um, any oil or just any residue that will make the um, lace come up. And this is very, very important. Please do not forget that step before you start applying the glue. You really want to make sure that you clean the area really good off with alcohol to get rid of any oil.
So now we're about to go ahead and apply the lace. And like I said before, do not use your fingers to press it in. Try to use, this is why I like to keep the extra lace on her and I don't cut it off first. And I used to do that, but this is just the easier way for me to apply it without everything getting messy. So I like to pull the extra lace to use, and use that to apply the lace. And I like to take my comb and use the fine teeth of the comb to press inwards and blow dry. And this way the the hair won't stick to the glue and trust and believe it will if you use your fingers to press it down because the glue will seep through the lace and once the glue is on there you will have to literally take the whole frontal off and clean it off to just reinstall this whole look and it's just going to be too much So I like to cut the lace off in sections and this way is just way easier for me to sculpt the hairline so I won't just be cutting straight across. And make sure when you're cutting, you're just doing zigzag cutting. Don't cut straight across because it will look like a wig. And like I said, make sure that you get as far back to where the hair is coming out. You do not want to leave no extra lace on this install because you will see it and it will look very unnatural so make sure that you cut as close to the hair on the on the lace as possible So I like to flip the hair up and part the, where the ear is and cut off that extra piece that's covering the ear. You want to make sure that this that you do this step because it's very important because if you do forget this step, the lace will continue to sit on the client's hair and over time it will start to irritate them. So make sure that you do not forget to cut this extra piece off the ear because nine, nine times out of ten that piece will be too long to go behind the ear. You have to make sure you cut it. So now it's time to style her baby hairs and what I like to do is part a thin layer, little thin little section against her hairline and you don't want it to be too thick but um, I like to part it out and then I like to cut it about like a half inch, an inch, half an inch 
and I like to mold it with Nairobi mousse and I like to use the mousse because it gives it a softer more fluffy look and then after I apply the mousse when you take off the scarf I like to comb out the baby hairs to make it sure that it looks all fluffy and it won't be sticking to the client's hair now it's your choice to leave it looking that way you will see what I mean in a second but um we about to go ahead and sew in her hair and then I will start talking about the baby hairs when we get to that part And if you guys would like a dedicated, detailed video on how to sew in your extensions, I will make a whole separate video on how to do that. But just for the sake and time of this video, that's why I shortened it. And I will gladly do that for you guys. Just let me know down in the comments. Okay, so now this is the part where we're about to talk about the baby hair. It's the most important part of this whole look. So like I said, I like to use Nairobi mousse. And when I use this mousse, I try my best not to press so hard down into the lace. Because if you press and do it hard and rough, the lace will lift. Keep in mind, please do not press down. I didn't have so many situations and um, just just times where i pressed down into the lace and the lace literally lifted right up and you do not want that shit to happen i'm telling you like that shit is gonna piss you off so um i like to use a fine tooth comb to mold them and i like to do them soft and the shorter that you do your baby hairs the more natural looking that it will be the more longer you have them the more dramatic it will be and you want to make sure um that you pluck the hairline really good and i will do a whole separate video on how you pluck the hairline as well don't worry i got y'all I got y'all on all of that and um like i said after this i like to take my scarf and i like to let that sit and mold down for at least 30 to 45 minutes and um yeah until it's nice and hard and then after the um scarf come off i like to take my fine tooth comb again and brush them out and you will see what i mean in a second
If you are liking this video so far, make sure that you give me a thumbs up and make sure you click that subscribe button and share this to a friend if you're loving these results. Like, look at this. Look at that. So this is the part that I mean where I take my fine tooth comb and like to comb out the baby hairs and make it get like a little fluffy, little, you know, natural look so it won't be sticking to your face. And this is basically about it. Um, I'm just about to do the finishing touches. All I'm about to do is just wet her hair and define her curls to make sure it was popping and just you know keep on playing with the baby hairs until my liking you can do it to your liking you can do whatever at this point and yeah just basically do your finishing touches So this is the finished result. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on the post notifications so y'all can know when my next upload will be. And thank you guys just so much. Um, stay tuned for my next video. I appreciate every last one of you guys. And comment down below anything that you guys would like to see. And make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. I will list all of that in the description box below. So um, stay blessed, guys and I love y'all.